Hi guys, so this is Anna from Anna and Ivy and today I will show you how to create a super easy, quick um, Instagram story or Pinterest pin or whatever you like animation or video clip with a shadow overlay but this time I will show you how to make it more kind of organic looking. So what you need is you need an image it's, it doesn't matter if it's yours or from Unsplash, I have one from Unsplash and a shadow overlay, in this case I use the shadow overlay animation from our hand shadow um, collection and you will need Photoshop. So I'm already here in Photoshop, I created a file um, which is perfect for Instagram story and I need my layer section and the timeline. If you don't have the timeline open now you simply go to window and timeline and you will find it over here. So the first step we will make is we will drag and drop our image to our document and position it. Here we go. Don't need these. The second step is we will use our animated shadow overlay and drop it and also scale rotate and position it. Now the next step is we will create a timeline. So click on create video timeline, don't cre uh, click on create frame timeline but video timeline. As you can see our bottom or our background image is uh, shorter than the animation simply drag it over here and we have 50 seconds so next is we will change the opacity of the shadow to 40 percent that's kind of fine you can make it like 50 percent it's up to you so now you can export this video already at this point but i will show you how to make it more organic in the next step so when you look at the image you have like three spaces or three dimensions we have the bottom part this is the bed then we have the side of the book and we have the book itself so everything is like from the bottom to the top in different um, um, yeah, dimensions so when a shadow um, from the window comes in it changes change the angle or the size depending on the object it falls on when you say it this. I hope I explained it right <laughs> but I think you know what I mean so since we need three parts of um, this hand shadow we will copy and duplicate the hand shadow and the first part we will try to um, isolate is the part on the book. So simply take your lasso tool and cut your book kind of out. So this should be fine. Now simply click while your selection is still active on the um, masking tool. Here we go. Now you only have this part visible. Since we won't need this part another time, we will create the same mask for each and every of our layer. So I press command and then click on the mask and it selects the mask. Here we go. Now we have three times the same mask but we don't need it like this. So our very last layer will be invisible now and we will work on the corner or on the edge of the um, book. So what we will do next is we will invert the mask, command J and then we have it inverted. You can see it here because we don't have this part left, only the bottom is visible. So since we are working on this section, we will also remove the part that's on the bed. And make sure your eraser tool has the color black and simply remove it. So now we are left with this small part from the side of the book. And now let's check what's going on. 
here. So since I already know that the hair is moving upwards, I know that the lowest layer will have to be visible here and here. So we go over here and invert with Command J. And then next step is we will check that this layer won't be overlaid with the other one. Select the mask and simply erase the part we don't need. So I selected the um, mask from the layer um, on top. I hope you can follow me here. So let's check what's going on here. So as we can see, this one has to be removed too because the finger is not supposed to be here. Simply remove it. Now it should look like the very beginning um, shadow overlay. So the next thing we will do, we will move and scale the shadow a bit around to achieve this kind of organic look. So what you have to do is you have to move the shadow without moving the mask. So we will unlink the mask from the layer. When clicking on this chain, you simply remove the connection. So here we go. We have this part. It's a little bit more below, so we will move it with our move tool or simply the arrows on your keyboard kind of below. There we go. Then we have this part, we can leave it like it is, and we have the bot uh, the top part. I would scale it a bit because it's on top of the whole book. And it should be more, it should be bigger than the other parts. We can also move this a bit so it has a, another angle. So that's basically it. Now we have this one. Oh, as you can see, you have to check, not like me, you have to check all the parts. Always make sure you check the whole timeline a bit to make sure you haven't missed any part. So that's it. This is kind of the organic kind of shadow fall and now we can add a bit depth and light. We will reconnect the um, mask and the layer to make sure that we don't move or mess things around. Then Command G or simply click on the folder and you have a group. And now we will create a mask. Choose your gradient tool and then make a tiny bit more light gray or grayish kind of color. And simply drag it on your mask of the group. So now the shadow is lighter on the bottom part and a bit darker on the top. You can add a bit more of this effect. Yeah, and that's it. So now it looks much more organic than the one before. What you could also do is you could add a bit more um, blur and whatever you like but for now we are good to go. So simply go to file, export and render video. Make sure you have document size selected and simply export it to your folder. So that's basically it. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Please uh, stay safe, stay home and stay healthy and enjoy the springtime. Bye!